Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how a core biopsy is done to diagnose cancer. Before going into the procedure, let us see how a core biopsy gun collects the specimen. This is a disposable core biopsy gun. This has a housing unit which contains the loading buttons and the firing buttons and there is a needle. This needle contains an inside stylet that has a sample notch in which the core biopsy is collected and there is an outer cutting cannula. So when we fire this core biopsy gun, the inner stylet travels first into the tissue and a part of this suspicious tissue sits inside this notch and immediately later the cutting cannula runs over this stylet to cut the tissue sitting in the stylet away from the rest of the surrounding tissue. This is how a core is created. Now I am pulling the outer button that charges the outer cannula and exposes the inner stylet. As I said earlier, this stylet contains a notch that is the sample notch in which the core is collected. Now I will charge the gun completely by pulling the other button as well and let us see how the core biopsy gun needle travels in slow motion. Here we are performing core biopsy for a suspicious breast lump. Local anesthesia is given before the procedure. A small nick is made on the skin roughly at the center of the lump and through this incision I am placing the core biopsy needle to reach the surface of the lump roughly at the center. Once I am satisfied with the positioning, I will fire the gun. So now I have collected the core specimen. So once I pull the outer loading button, it exposes the inner stylet that contains the core specimen. This is picked up with the help of a needle and placed in formalin. Six to eight such specimens are collected that is adequate for pathological analysis. The patient does not require any stitches. A simple dressing is given that can be removed a couple of days later. These are the collected core biopsy specimen placed in formalin. So they are roughly around two centimeters long. These are finally embedded in paraffin blocks and thin sections are taken from these paraffin blocks to prepare slides and these slides are finally seen under microscope to look for presence of cancer. Thank you.